Billionaire Elon Musk offered Wikipedia the free online encyclopedia $1 billion under the condition that it would change its name to Dickopedia. The owner of X, the social media platform formerly known as Twitter, wrote his offer in a post on his new site. He quoted an earlier post with a screenshot of a personal appeal from Wikipedia co-founder Jimmy Wells stating that the website is not for sale. Quote, I will give them a billion dollars if they change their name to Dickopedia. He also stated, please add that to the cow and poop emojis on my Wikipedia page. He also continued under the post in interest of accuracy. When one journalist by the name of Ed Crescentstein told the online encyclopedia to take the offer, stating that it can always change it back after you collect, must reply that the website must keep the name for the minimum of a year. Quote, one year minimum, I mean, I'm not a fool. Musk's post came after his earlier post criticizing the Wikimedia Foundation and nonprofit that hosts Wikipedia for asking for money. Quote, have you ever wondered why the Wikimedia Foundation wants so much money? It certainly isn't needed to operate Wikipedia. Musk wrote, quote, you can literally fit a copy of the entire text on your phone. So what's the money for? Inquiring minds want to know. The app's community notes, which allow users to sign up and become contributors and create notes for posts for context, left an explanation under this post initially stating that Wikipedia handles, quote, over 25 billion page views per month and over 44 million page edits a month, requiring substantial operating cost. It also noted that the organization employs third-party financial auditors who reports are made available to the public. Since noted, the organization's expense as $146 million and left a bullet list specifying where the money goes by percent. Wells has been an outspoken critic of Musk in May. Wells condemned Musk's decision to censor critics ahead of the Turkish presidential election. Quote, what Wikipedia did, we stood strong for our principles and fought to the Supreme Court of Turkey and won. That's what Wells wrote in response to Musk, also stating, this is what it means to treat freedom of expression as a principle rather than a slogan. Musk has come under fire, withering criticism in some quarters of misinformation on X since he purchased the platform and instituted a number of changes. Let me just be honest. Um, Wikipedia could easily do this for a year and nobody is going to really blink or budge it might be a little bit of something online directly about it you might hear some people complain like oh my god i can't believe they really gave in to a billionaire how, how would you sit up there and do that just for a little bit of money well let me just explain to a lot of people like this at the end of the day wikipedia is from my understanding a organization that handles and divvies out information, right? They have billions of pages directly out there full of, it's pretty much a free encyclopedia that you can go to on your phone at the click of a thumb or finger, or maybe even the sound of your voice. You can go directly to Wikipedia and look up pretty much any and all information that you wanna look up versus you going directly to a library and having to spend hours upon hours upon hours upon hours trying to go through and find the specific book. And then even when you find that specific book, that's not going to give you all the information that you need. So then you're going to need probably four to five, 10, maybe 15 other books in order to really get a well-rounded, you know, type of feel for the topic or the subject, right? So which one would you rather do? Would you rather use the library, which most people don't use, or would you rather use Wikipedia, right? I would say most people would rather use Wikipedia from the seat of their car, their home, Starbucks on their 15 minute, uh, you know, break or maybe listening to Wikipedia audibly, you know, while they're doing a jog or something like that. Right. People would rather go for Wikipedia. So, again, you have all of these people that just so happen to use Wikipedia for free. Right. They appreciate it for it being free and for it being what it is. But all of the people that use it every single day don't do not donate one dollar to it that's how it works people don't really respect things that are free people will have a whole bunch of complaints they'll have a whole bunch of critiques right notice about something that is free but if wikipedia was a paid service you would hear complete silence people wouldn't really have critiques people really wouldn't 
say anything. And then on top of that, Wikipedia would get the support that it would need every single day if it had a paid subscription. Even if it was just a dollar, anybody out here could afford a dollar. Some people which oh, a dollar is way too much. What do you need this dollar? Like I said, you have a lot of people that want to get something for nothing. You have a lot of entitled people directly out here. And the reason that they can stay entitled is because you have a lot of people like Wikipedia that are willing to uh, divvy over information of which these people don't have to sit up there and look for. Like I said, I respect Wikipedia for what it is that it does and the amount of information that it gives to people at just their fingertips. But for people I know out there wanting to criticize this whole thing, you got to understand Wikipedia is also a business at the end of the day. They do have a type of cost at the end of the day. And as the article noted, they have all of that for people to look up if they want to go up there and look up all the information by percentages where all of the money specifically goes. And it wouldn't even take a lot of the world's population in order to fund Wikipedia or to make sure that everything is running uh, properly or better yet to just make sure that Wikipedia has a billion dollars so that it doesn't have to change its name by the way of Elon Musk, right? But chances are very great that people aren't going to donate that $1 or they're not going to donate a certain amount from a few percentage of people from the population in order to get that billion dollars from Wikipedia. So how I look at it, if I own Wikipedia and Elon Musk came through with that deal. And he was like, the only stipulation is that, you know, in order to get this money or whatnot, you have to keep the name for a year. I'm like, okay, we can do that. We'll keep this name directly for a year. It'll be a joke. It'll, you know, be everywhere. It'll be a buzz, you know, all over the place. Um, and then after that, or, or, or however it is that they decide to portion out or divvy out that money, you know, periodically, let's say um, for a percentage of the money, you'll get it like every you know, three months or something like that, right? I'm pretty sure that that would be a pretty fair thing that Elon Musk would, you know, go for. Um, and there will be some contracts that would have to be signed and, you know, make sure that those uh, things don't get broken so that the uh, full extent of the money can be, you know, directly given out at the end of said term, which is a year. I would directly go for it. I would 100% directly go for it. Some people out here, they'll be like, oh, you know, all money isn't good money and, you know, all this. I'm like, you know, that's real easy to sit up there and say from a circumstance of whatever it is that your circumstance is. But when it comes to other people that are running stuff, that are trying to do stuff, that's a little bit different. A billion dollars can do a lot of things for a lot of people. And that's what a lot of people don't understand. Right. People can easily say that I would never do something for a certain amount of money. When realistically, let's just be honest, everybody has a price. And even if you say that you don't have a price, that just means that you haven't realized what your specific number is. What I mean is going back to what Dave Chappelle said, he said that his father told him, and I'm, I just have to paraphrase it, that, you know, when you go out here, when you start doing everything and you're envisioning everything, make sure you envision what your price is, right? What is the highest that you'll go to and then you'll just say, that's enough for me, right? Everybody has to realize at what point is this too much? At what point is it okay for me to leave everything else on the table because I got what it is that I need and I'm completely fine and dandy, right? So again, knowing the fact that people all over the world are not going to sit up there and donate or you're not gonna have a billion people donate one dollar just to get that billion dollars for wiki i would say that wiki should easily just get that money and that money would be able to supply them for years to come so that they wouldn't have to initially go out and ask people on the website every single year like hey could you guys you know donate a dollar you know a dollar fifty which is the amount of a coffee or whatnot or whatever they might want to you know, add inflation directly to that because that's not the price of coffee anymore. But they wouldn't have to show that on their website every single time as if Wikipedia is going to automatically break down, is going to cease to exist and, you know, all these other types of things. Right. So, like I said, just, you know, 
take the deal. Or better, yeah, I mean, or, or again, like I said, because it's not my site, I'm not running it. You don't have to take the deal. And then you can continue for the next 10 years asking people to basically donate the bare minimum. And some people don't even want to donate the bare minimum. And then you're going to have to continue the same, you know, circle for years and years and years and years and years to come. So, like I said, I would have rather take the short term than, you know, doing that whole thing for a longer duration than what I would actually need to be. Just saying. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment description below. And as always, peace, love, and stay tuned for the next video.